to this month's Knit and Crochet Club. Um, we are going to be working on the smooth sand stitch. And let me just pull this out so you can see both sides of it. And here is the smooth sand stitch. This is the right side, and then this is the wrong side, which I did see in a tutorial that this is the broken rib stitch, actually. So it just depends on what side of the fabric you want to show. Um, we're continuing on our scarf from our seed stitch, and this is very similar to seed stitch. Um, now you're going to want to look at your scarf and decide what side you finished on. Um, it looks like here this is our wrong side of the fabric, so we will start with our wrong side portion of our um, pattern here. So the wrong side you'll want to knit 3, purl 24, and then knit 3. I already did my first 3 as my garter to change my color in here. So now I'm just going to purl 24, or it's easier to just kind of think of it as purling until the last 3. And if you were on the right side of it, you would do our row two that we're doing this time, um, which would be knit three, knit one, purl one, repeat until the last three, and knit those last three. So it's very similar to the seed stitch in which you're alternating back and forth, but then your other row is purls instead. So I'm going to keep purling. And if you don't know how to purl, you might want to go back to our stocking knit stitch where we learned how to do that the first time. but also you just go in from the front here, your yarn's in the front, you go back out, and you drop it off. Simple as that. And I'm at my last three. We're going to move our yarn to the back and knit. So there we go. Now on to our row two which is the right side of the pattern. So if you were on the right side of your scarf, you will want to do this um, row first instead of what we just did. So we're going to knit our first three because that's part of our garter. And then we're just gonna knit one purl one, just like you would for seed stitch. So there's our knit. Move it to the front and purl. Move it to the back and knit. And you'll 
do that until you reach your last three stitches and we're going to knit those once to make our garter border. <laughs> is really tight from where I changed the color. There we go. So then I just go back to what I did for my row one. We're on the wrong side. So it's just the knit three, purl 24, and knit three. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, I'm answering comments in real time for this video premiere, but I will even answer questions afterwards if you leave them as soon as I see them. You can also contact me here in the Makerspace and that information will be in the description. that I'm doing for all of my squares and I will also um, continue knitting for a little bit longer I'll fast forward so you can see what this stitch looks like <laughs> pattern turning out here. This is our wrong side, so that's that broken um, rib stitch. And then this is our correct side, the smooth sand. So you can see how it varies from our seed stitch. Another thing that's different is you can't use the method that we used to know where we were in the seed stitch, but you can kind of see what stitch you are on by looking at your last one here. So this one has that bump, which means I just purled. So the next stitch I need to do is a knit. And a knit looks like that, a big kind of loop. And you'll just do a purl next. So we do have our guides and on our Facebook group. If you need any other assistance on that, you might find it helpful to use some of those guides. And then you can always contact me or comment on this video, and I will see what I can do to help you. So as always, good luck. And next month, we will be doing the rib stitch for our knit stitch. So see you then. Thank you.